This question is checking to see if we understand how optical storage devices work. We've got five marks up for grabs, so we have to explain very clearly at least five points that say how data, binary data, zeros and ones, can be read from a piece of optical media such as a CD. So a DVD will work in the same way or a Blu-ray Blu will work in the same way. There's a big clue in the title, it's optical media. Optical means to do with light, um, and so all of these CD, DVD, Blu-ray devices all work with lasers inside. So if we look at what the exam boards say that they'll accept, um, we'll go through each of these points. There's eight possible things that you could write, and if you write anything similar to any of these eight points, any five of them will give you um, full marks. So first of all, the exam boards say you'll get a point for talking about a tracking mechanism that moves a laser into the correct position over a CD. So let's have a look at a CD just here. When you put a CD inside your CD drive, um, there's a laser that can move from the center of the CD to the outer part of the CD, which directs a laser onto the surface of the CD. Um, so you've also got um, a CD that spins, and the combination of your CD spinning and the laser moving from the middle to the outer part of your, um, your CD means that any part of the surface of the CD can be in the direct focus of the laser. Oops. So then you get a point for saying that the CD spins slower when we're on the outer tracks. So if the laser is focused on the outer tracks here, then the motor needs to spin more slowly um, than if the laser is pointed towards the middle. And that's because on the surface of the CD, if you were to look at it under a microscope, you'd see lots of pits or bumps. Um, and these pits and bumps are equally spaced away from each other. Um, and they form a spiral from the middle going all the way around um, until we get to, uh, to the edge over here. So if they're equally spaced, that means that um, there are more of them around the, um, the outer edge than they are on the, on the inner edge, which is why the CD has to spin more slowly um, if we're reading from near the middle than it does if we're reading um, from the outer edge. Um, so the motor in a CD drive has to be, um, the speed of the motor has to be very precisely controlled. It doesn't just spin round any old how. There's a, a processor that controls exactly um, how fast uh, and the position of the rotation of the CD. Okay, so the CD's shone onto the disc. You get a mark for saying that it's also reflected. So as the CD, sorry, as the laser bounces off the surface of the CD, the laser can bounce up and reflect into um, an opto sensor, something that will detect light. Um, so sometimes there will be light that is reflected into this sensor and that will be a binary one because electricity is, um, the sensor will detect the light. And sometimes um, there won't be light um, detected by that sensor and that's a binary zero. So um, uh, we've talked about the fact that there are bumps on the surface of the disc and that there's a sensor that, that detects whether or not the laser shines into it. And it's these bumps that represent two possible bit values. So if there's a bump at a particular point when the laser's shining onto it, that means that the laser won't reflect off into the, um, into the sensor. If there's no bump at that point, then the laser will reflect off the surface um, into the sensor. So hopefully you can see that as the CD spins round and the laser is directed onto a certain part of the CD by moving um, forwards and backwards, uh, you can read a zero or one um, which detects whether light will reflect off any particular point of the surface of a CD.